What's up guys? Welcome back to Mr. Legend Crypto guys. In this video, we're taking a look at an all coin Telcoin. Telcoin is currently around from the 255 on coin market cap. In the last one year, it has gone as high as $0.035 and as low as $0.00123. Currently, Telcoin is trading for $0.0016. It has a market cap of $99 million. In this video, we'll be looking at the Telcoin US dollar price chart. How low can it go in the bear market? Telcoin from the all-time high is set on the 10th of May 2021. Telcoin is down really bad. Telcoin is down more than 97%. It is a good place to accumulate Telcoin. Telcoin is down really bad. How low can it go in the bear market? We'll also be looking at Telcom's performance against Bitcoin, Telcom's performance against Ethereum, and then we'll take a look at the Telcom market cap charts. How low can it go in the bear market? When should we start accumulating some Telcom for ourselves in anticipation for the next bull run? During the bull run, we know that Telcom can pump up into the sky, so we want to take advantage of that and accumulate at low prices. We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, if you're new to this channel and you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Let's get down to business. Guys, at the point of recording this video, in the last one year, Telcon is down 89.3%. In the last one month, it's up 6.7%. In the last one week, it's up 23.5%. But in the last one day, Telcon is down 8.2%. The all coins in the all coin market has been rallying, Telcons included. Is this the time to start accumulating some Telcon for the next bull run? Should we start buying right now or should we wait for cheaper prices in the bear market? In the last one month, Telcon has been pumping, but that's nothing to write home about. In the last one month, we have seen significant rise in the price of Telcom. 20 percent is actually good but comparing it to what telcon has done in the past that's nothing to write home about this is a telcon us dollar price chart from 2018 till 2022 telcon was launched at the top of the 2018 bull run and during the bear market we saw telcon lose over 99.42 percent of its value he found this bottom on the 10th of march 2020 guys you want to be careful all coins during the bear market telcon already lost more than 97% of its value when Bitcoin found its bottom in 2019. I'm sure a lot of people started buying Telcon here thinking, you know what? The bottom is probably in because Bitcoin is pumping. Everything is going to go up. Guys, you don't want to make that mistake. The bear market, things can get cheaper. If you think it's cheap, just wait. It can get way, way cheaper. Now, during the bull run, when everything is going up, Telcon is very, very good to hold. You want to be holding some Telcon in that period in time because from March 16, 2020, so when the top came for Telcom right here on the 10th of May 2021, Telcom went up, wait for it, over 71,000 percent in just 420 days. Guys, if you invested $1,000 in Telcom right here, you got to sell it at the top for $719,000. Do you want to be that lucky person to do that in the next bull run? Guys, you have to wait patiently for the bottom of the bear market. So how low can Telcom go in the bear market? Do you want to be accumulating? We'll be looking at some critical levels for Telcom and the worst case scenario of where it can go low in the bear market. Guys, we know that during the bear market, all coins can lose from 90 to 99% of their value in the bear market. In the case of Telcom, in the previous bear market, we saw Telcom lose 99% of its value. In the bull run, they can recover, just like in the case of Telcom, you can see that it went above its buy price in 2018. It actually went to set new all-time highs. That's good to see. That's what all of these altcoins can do in the bear market. But with all these huge pumps, comes huge dumps. That's why you want to be careful with them during the bear market. You can see that even right now, Telcom is down really bad. It's already down 97% from its all-time high. How low can it go? Is this the bottom of the bear market? Since when it has started dumping, we have been getting some relief rallies, but those rallies have been nothing to write them about. This rally here was a 219% pump. This rally right here was less than a 200% pump. The rally has been reducing. This rally was a 115% pump. This last rally that we just got right now was a 30% pump. You can see how tiny it is in the grand scheme of things. Where will I be accumulating some telecom for myself during the bear market? Guys are waiting for telecom to get into this red zone right here from 0 0.0012 to 0 0.0027 region. Uh, telecom will actually be testing support at that point in time. You can see that telecom has tested this region quite a number of times. In 2018, telecom got rejected of this region and we started to pump right here in 2019 telcom got rejected of that region even in 2021 we said pumping into the moon guess what telcom had to take a chill period around here right now we're consolidating there i'll expect some little bounce in telcom i don't know whether the relief rally is over right now but i expect some relief rally right here 
to get people very very bullish a lot of people start shouting the top is in then phew we go to gobbling town and that's what happened in 2018 we had some small bounces on the way before we finally went lower eventually i think that's what's going to happen right now before we finally find the bottom in telcoin but guys you want to be careful with all coins during the bear market you want to make sure bitcoin has found its bottom because we know that during the bear market bitcoin can actually find its bear market bottom and people will be shouting kumbaya just like in 2018 when bitcoin found its bottom in december a lot of people started stacking all coins thinking you know what after bitcoin has found its bottom the next thing is for the all coins to start pumping you want to wait for bitcoin to confirm the trend then when the bull run and even in that bull run bitcoin needs to start pumping till february 2021 and by february 2021 guys bitcoin was already at fifty six thousand dollars so the bull run was already coming to an end that's why you want to hold on from buying a lot of these all coins till you see confirmation from bitcoin but let's see how is telcom performing against bitcoin against bitcoin when telcom was launched it dumped really hard against bitcoin just like the us pairing telcom lost probably almost 100 percent of its value against bitcoin according to this chart it lost 99.96 percent of its value against bitcoin but if you are among the mad people that had the balls to actually flip your bitcoin for some telcoin on the 26th of december 2020 guys you got to enjoy the pump of telcom because telcom outperformed bitcoin in that period in time by more than ten thousand percent crazy crazy to think about it but guys telcom is just one of those coins that if you hold it in the bull run you'll be thinking kumbaya do you think telcom will ever break its all-time high on its bitcoin pairing because guys a lot of these coins in the bear market never ever break the all-time high on their bitcoin pairing in the next bull run but telcom was an exception it pumped really hard in the bull run but with every huge pumps comes some huge dumps at the end of the way telcoin now is down 95 percent from that all-time high set on the bitcoin pairing do you think it's able to recover and set new all-time highs on the bitcoin pair in the next bull run only time we tell will you be flipping your bitcoin right now for some telcoin guys you want to wait you can see that the bear market doesn't just come and go the last bear market for telcoin lasted years we took years and years of accumulation so don't assume that telcom will just dump and start pumping again we'll probably not see a new all-time high for telcom until maybe 2023 or 2024 Let's look at how Telcoin is performing against the number one altcoin in the market. How is it performing against Ethereum? When it was launched right here in 2018, it started dumping really hard against Ethereum. It lost over 97% of its value. The bottom of Telcoin against Ethereum came in on the 29th of December 2020. And then during the bull run, guess what happened, guys? Telcom went to the moon. It pumped over 90x against Ethereum. If you flip one Ethereum for Telcom right here, you get to sell that Telcom at the top right here and flip it back for 90 Ethereum. But you have to be crazy enough to flip it right here at the bottom. And right now, Telcom is dumping right now against Ethereum. It has lost more than 93% of its value. It has done a round trip from where it pumped in 2021. It has gone up, set new all-time highs, back to that place where it pumped. Do you think the bottom is in? I don't think so. History has shown that during the bear market, a lot of these all coins will lose value against Bitcoin and against Ethereum. So if you want to be buying them, you want to be dollar cost averaging to them. You don't want to go all in. You want to pin some here, pin some there so that you can get relatively an average price at the end of the bear market. The bear market is where the money is made. The bear market is where you want to accumulate all these all coins. Let's take a look at Telcom's market cap chart. Telcom's market cap got to the peak right here. In 2018, the market cap got to as high as $240 million dollars. During the bear market, we saw Telcom loss over 98.5% of its value during the bear market. But during the bull run, it went from market cap as low as $3 million to as high as $2.9 billion at the top of the bull run. Crazy, crazy pumps. But with all crazy pumps come some dumps. And since then, our Telcom market cap has been dumping. The market cap is currently at $99 million. How low can it go in the bear market? We see that the all-time low for it is at $3 million. Is it going to get that low? Are we going to get some support along the way? Crucial support for Telcom market cap. We don't want it to break below this $21 million region. And even that region, we still have to see Telcom market cap drop really low from where it is right now. The market cap will drop another 75 to 80%. Nobody wants that to happen, but guys, that's what happens in the bear market. A lot of these all coins can dump really hard. And while let's start accumulating some Telcoin, maybe just maybe when the market cap of Telcom gets to this $43 million to $21 million region, that will make Telcom very, very attractive to buy during the bear market. Currently, the market cap is at $99 million. We have 61 billion Telcoins in circulation out of a maximum 100 billion coins. The fully direct market cap is at $161 million. And what's Telcoin? Telcoin is the naive medium of exchange reserve asset and protocol token of the Telcoin user on decentralized financial platform. Where can you get some? If you want to hold through the bear market, you can get some on Qcoin 
on Indonex, on Bybit, on Uniswap, and anywhere you get your favorite altcoins. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Will you be buying some telcom through the bear market? Will you be holding through the chaos? Or will you be selling into the pump? I want to hear your thoughts about that. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video. Seven.